last one to load will be Flashy American. In the gate. Untappable moving around. And they're off. Gold medal dancer is going to the front. Flashy American. Untappable wasn't off quickly, but she moves up nicely now to take second. Diva's Diamond is just behind her, and Mufaja is the early trailer. Gold medal dancer racing off the rail leads three quarters of a length with Untappable securing the second position. Then comes Diva's Diamond third with five to make up. Flashy American is in fourth, and then Mufaja. Single file, six furlongs from the money. And it's Gold medal dancer uncontested. Leads it by two lengths. Untappable gets a perfect trip in second. And then it's Diva's Diamond third. Flashy American inches closer in fourth. Only four lengths off the lead and three in front of Mufaja. The pace very moderate as Gold Medal Dancer sails down the back stretch with a length and a half lead on Untappable. Flashy American now takes third. Diva's Diamond fourth and has to keep up. Mufaja is still the trailer. Nine lengths off the lead. Three eighths of a mile to go. Gold Medal Dancer. The lead down to three quarters of a length as Untappable starts to move in now from second. Flashy American still has four to make up. Mufaja's underway outside Diva's Diamond. They're coming to the quarter pole, and Untappable makes her move, puts her neck in front. Gold medal dancer Mufaja rallying strongly on the outside into third. They're heading to the eighth pole. Untappable is the leader, a very tough gold medal dancer is fighting back. In fact, she puts her head back in front at the eighth ball, and Mufaja is bearing down in the center of the track. Gold medal dancer running the race of her life. Untappable is fully extended. Gold medal dancer will win the Azari. Three quarters of a length. Untappable had to settle for second. In the winner's circle, number four, gold medal dancer. A five-year-old bay mare by Medaglia Doro out of Bacata. Owned by Pin Oak Stable of Josephine Abercrombie. The winning trainer is Donnie K. Von Hemel. And the jockey, Luis Quinones. Gold medal dancer was bred in Kentucky by her owners. Pin Oak Stud LLC, running time 1 minute 45 and 4 fifths seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, in the winner's circle to make the presentation to the connections of gold medal dancer, Oakland welcomes Rick and Brenda Cook. Here with winning trainer who send out gold medal dancer in the grade two Azari for Pin Oak Stable, Louis Q, doing a fabulous job beating a champion in the process. Now, Donnie Kay, was that kind of the goal? You were pretty much the tactical speed in this race. Was that kind of the goal to hopefully go gate to wire? We thought so. We, we had a chance to be able to get out there and control the race, and, and uh, Louis did a great job. Uh, and... Uh, the big mare came came to her, and, and we uh, got the better today. Uh, of course, it was her first race of the year at all, but but uh, she got got her nose down. Now she not only got her first stakes win, she kind of put her on the map here. Her first graded stakes win, graded first stakes. graded stakes win. But she also not only beat the champion, but our true horse for the course in Mufaja. As they're coming down the stretch, she has the champion untappable coming up in Mufaja. What kind of thoughts were going through your head? Oh, you're just you're just screaming and hollering and beating, you know, and jumping up and down and and really enjoying 
uh, an exciting race here at Oakland. I want to thank Oakland and my staff has, has, has done a fine job this meet. Louie did a great job. It's just it's great to be a part of the team. With that impressive performance, can you maybe give us a hint? Can we possibly see her in the Apple Blossom? I think that's a sure possibility. So, Awesome. Well, we certainly look forward to her seeing her in the Grade 1 Apple Blossom on April 10th. Congratulations, Donnie. Carve and ride on Curlin. Going in. And they're off. Golden Ticket is sprinting out for the lead. Midnight Hawk was off a step slowly, but he's in front now as he sprints up to take over. Race Day is up close with him, and Carve on the outside third. Tapature is now in fourth, ride on Curlin fifth, and the early trailer now is Golden Ticket. Around the first turn, and Midnight Hawk leads by a length and a half to race day with Carve getting a good spot third. Tapature just inside of him. Right on Curlin is fifth with six to make up and a half dozen in front of Golden Ticket. Six furlongs from home, Midnight Hawk is the target. He's in front still by a length and a half. With race day a comfortable second, Carve inching closer, and Tapature is eager just inside of him. He's only two and a half lengths off the lead, less than five furlongs from the money. Ride on Curlin is in the fifth position with five to make up, and now it's a distance to Golden Ticket. A half mile left in the Razorback. Midnight Hawk has been there every step of the way. Race Day makes his move on the outside. They're sprinting around the turn. Carve clearly third. Tapature has lost some ground. He's being guided off the rail now in fourth. Ride on Curlin is next. They're coming to the quarter pole. Race Day is the new leader. Midnight Hawk fully extended, two and a half more to carve in third. Tapature on the outside, right on Curlin with plenty of work to do. They're at the top of the stretch. Race day, Midnight Hawk battling bravely on the inside. They'll come to the eighth pole together. Race day just in front. Midnight Hawk a neck back second. Five more to carve in third. Then it's Tapature in fourth. Race day, now starting to edge clear. Midnight Hawk will not surrender. It's race day and Midnight Hawk. Race day will prevail narrowly. Midnight Hawk ran too well to lose. Photo for third, golden ticket from out of the clouds over carve. Number five, race day was first. Three, Midnight Hawks. Exacta pays $69 even. Trifecta, 260.30. Super, 894.40. In the winner's circle is number five, race day. Four year old, great colt by Tappet out of Rebelite. Owned by Matthew Shera. The winning trainer is Todd Pletcher and the jockey John Velasquez. Race day was bred in Kentucky by James Miller. Running time, 1 minute 44 and 4 fifths seconds. Please note the track condition has just been changed to sloppy. Track condition has just been changed to sloppy. Here with winning jockey John Velasquez, who piloted race day in today's grade three Razorback for trainer Todd Pletcher. Now, he was a little more forwardly placed than he was in his last start in the grade three Fred Hooper at Gulfstream. Was that kind of the game plan going in? Was that due to lack of pace 
or the off-track conditions? I think it was a little bit of both. I mean, last time uh, it was a lot of, lot of pace on, on the race at the Gulfstream Park, but he didn't break really good from there. So then I kind of had to hustle him a little bit to, to get into the race, and then he got checked passing the, the shoot over here. Today he broke well and going to the first turn. He was the opposite. Now he's too close, kind of a little bit of rank on me in the first turn. I was like, uh, I was just kind of had to manage him to get him to the last, going to the back stretch, and he did. And finally, when he got to the half of my pole, I just okay, so you now try to try to finish from here. And he put a good fight. When, when he came down to down, down the lane, uh, he kind of took away from the other horse, and then he, when he opened up about the lane, three quarter of a lane, he started waiting, and I went back to the inside again, and he put a good fight. Well, the super impressive performance, getting him his first graded stakes win in just his second stakes appearance, and hopefully we get to see him next out in the Oakland Handicap. I know you've got to get ready as you get a next mount in the grade two Rebel with Made for Lucky, but that was your second score in the Razorback. It was a repeat effort from 2007 with Magna Graduate, so I think you like the Razorback, am I correct? That's a long time ago. I forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you like those checks coming uh, from yeah, Oakland here in Hot Springs. It doesn't matter. They've been good to me. So, you know, as, as long as the horses run good, you know, you, 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 it's a step, to, a step to somewhere else, and uh, hopefully they continue to run good. Well, congratulations on your victory on race day. Thank you very much. Guys. Two-year-old champion, American Pharaoh, one to five on the board in the late stages of wagering. Bold Conquest set to take up his spot. Paid Admission and Sakima. Sakima going in. And they're off in the Rebel. Tis Wonderful Creek hopped in the air, and American Pharaoh comes out running for the lead. Paid admission, bold conquest up closer today, made from Lucky along the inside. Then comes Sakima, Tis Wonderful Creek, and the early trailer is the truth or else. American Pharaoh will dictate his own terms. He's in front by two lengths around the first turn, with made from Lucky just in front of paid admission a joint second. Then comes Bold Conquest, four, three and a half lengths off the lead. The Truth or Else inches a bit closer. The pace is soft up top. Tis Wonderful Creek is in between horses. Sakima just went by him. Down the back stretch they go. American Pharaoh leads it by a length. Paid admission now takes second. At the rail, made from Lucky is in third. Bold Conquest in the yellow cap is two and a half lengths off the heavy favorite. The Truth or Else just inside of him. Two clear of Sakima. And then it's Tis Wonderful Creek. They're heading to the 3 8 pole, chasing American Pharaoh in front by a length. Paid admission is in second and asks for more now. Made from Lucky, a close up third, bold conquest still outside of him. The Truth or Else has three and a half to make up. He's between horses at this point. Then comes Sakima and Tis Wonderful Creek. They're a quarter of a mile from home. Victor Espinosa just sitting on American Pharaoh. And he asked a question now, opening up to lead by two. Bold Conquest is finishing nicely on the outside of Made from Lucky. Then comes the truth or else. They're in the final furlong, and it's all American Pharaoh answering this test with flying colors. American Pharaoh will romp home in the Rebel, widening to win by about eight. Made from Lucky second. Bold Conquest third. The truth or else was fourth. Entering the winner's circle, last year's two-year-old champion, number four, American Pharaoh. He's a three-year-old, Bay Colt by Pioneer of the Nile out of Little Princess Emma. Owned by Zayat Stables, LLC of Ahmed Zayat, who's in the house today. The winning trainer is Bob Baffert. Assistant is Jimmy.